This short film originated from the desire to return to the intense, almost romantic period after my mother passed away from cancer. I say romantic and, and intense because I have never felt more in touch with myself and nature, um, a spirit or something higher than myself than that time, than the time after she, she passed away and, and also the time while she was passing. After that, I, a kind of darkness came over me and I barely felt any emotion. I felt numb and this went on for months. So I decided to, to make a movie about this subject in the hope that I could reconnect with that energy, that energy of life that I was feeling at that moment and feeling my, my grief To be able to, to write characters for this film, I had to start writing a diary about my grief and it really changed a lot for me and I had to start reflecting on myself and what I was feeling and, and if I wanted to, to create those characters I had to know myself first to, to be able to say something about them or about my feelings or about the, the people around me. Fully new. But it's okay. I pack all over. I sometimes dream of how it could have been different, somehow better. What would happen if you give into the desire to engage in rituals without being held back by restrictions, ideas of normality and, and rules to obey to? I wanted to capture what I observed in myself and the people around me, the bubble, the absence of time, the contrast between egocentric and the lonely side of grief and the spirituality and connection it can bring. The intention was to create the feeling of a vacuum, the isolated home, the undefined period of grief, the disorientation after having lost part of oneself, that bubble from which the outside world has been excluded. I wanted to explore how those who are left behind find a balance between rationalizing and romanticizing. What is reality and what is just a result of our projection? <laughs> 